my name is Rose. In this video, I will show you some tips and tricks on how to add an invisible zipper onto the back of this pita skirt as well as turn this digital skirt into real life sewing patterns. In addition, I'm going to show you how to check how much fabric is used for this skirt. Closed knitting pattern versus real life sewing patterns. Closed knitting pattern. We have 12 pleats in total, four pieces, size zipper. This skirt pattern is also possible for real life sewing, but it is less common. Real life sewing patterns. Essential to have. 12 pleats in total, back zipper, facing or a fold for the waistband, and finally seam allowances. Here, this is what we want to achieve. We want to add the back zipper onto the skirt and we still have 12 pleats total and we want to chain that into one panel as well as one waistband. And we also need to add a zipper or zipper notches. So the zipper notches in real life would be 17 centimeter. Since we have four centimeter here for the waistband, we will subtract four centimeter. The amount that we have left here, 13 centimeter for this zipper notch. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in Clo. I'm here in Clo to begin adding the zipper onto the skirt first. We want to come over here to this high quality rendering, turn that on so we can see the silhouette better. As well as over here, come to the vertical toggle menu and we want to turn on this thick texture surface. And after that, we also want to change the particle distance here. Simply my key selects all the pattern pieces and come over here to the property editor and we want to change the particle distance here to 20. Simply type in 20 and then press on the tab key to confirm. And after that, I'm going to have the snapshot of the skirt in case we mess up. So what we're going to do here, go to the history tab right there and then come over here and click on this add 3D state. So what this does, it will snapshot everything in this workspace. The avatar, the skirt, everything. Let's say I messed up this skirt terribly bad. Let's say I somehow delete some of these waistband. I can also, you know, command or control plus let's Z to undo. Or if I mess up so bad, I can simply, my kit selects all the pattern pieces, press on the delete and delete the avatar. Everything empty, okay? After that, I will come over here to that state that I captured earlier. Click on it, right click, and then select add to workspace. And now we have the perfect skirt pattern, the same exact as we open it, okay? So let's close the history panel for now. And I'm going to create the zipper for this back skirt. So right here we have this back waistband as well as this back skirt panel. I will use this edit pattern tool, click on this side right here, press on shift, click on this side, right click, and I'm going to select distribute internal line between segment and leave everything as is i'm going to click on ok by default i have that line is selected i will right click and then select cuts and sew i will do the same with these back skirt panels simply click one right here press on shift click right here then release the shift right click and then select distribute internal line between segment and click on ok to confirm next I'm going to hover the mouse over that line right there, right click, and then select cuts and sew. After that, we want to create zipper notches right here. I will use this notch tool, click on it to select, hover the mouse over that line right there, right click, and I will type in here 13 centimeter. So if we look at the preview right here, we have the line from top down, and that's what we want. So 13 centimeter plus this four centimeter with the waistband equal 17 centimeter. That's what we want. Next, I'm going to click on OK to confirm. I will do the same right here. Hover the mouse on that line, right click, and then type in 13, and then click on OK to confirm. Next, we want to adjust the sewing. To adjust the sewing, I will use this Edit Sewing tool. Simply click on the sewing. I'm going to delete the center sewing for now. And then simply adjust the sewing. Click on the top point of the sewing and then drag it down until it reaches this zipper notch. We'll do the same right here. Click right there, drag it down until it reaches that zipper notch there. And double check, be sure all the sewing evenly right here, okay? After that, we are going to simulate. To simulate, I'm going to simply use the transform pattern tool. My key selects all these pattern pieces, right click, 
and then select strengthen. And now I'm going to click on the simulation icon to simulate and stop the simulation. To sew the zipper, we will use these zipper tools in the 3D toolbar, click on it to select. Then hover the mouse on top of that edge right there, click one to start, and then hover the mouse down here and click one to place your zipper line, okay? Continue clicking one right there. And then hover the mouse down here. We want to leave a little bit of space between the notches and the zipper. Now I'm going to double click on it to place the zipper. And I will do the same here. Once again, zoom in as close as possible. We want to place that point right there. Then click one to place the point. Continue clicking. Once again, clicking one, it's allow the zipper tool to know where the line that we want. So if we look at closely here, right here we see the blue point. Simply double click on it to place the zipper. And as you can see right here, I have the gap between the zipper and the sewing. And after that, let's simulate. Simply click on that simulation icon or press on the spacebar and stop the simulation. If I look at closely here, now I have this evenly zipper up here. So if your zipper does not have this evenness up there, delete the zipper and then re-sew it, okay? So right now I'm good. Next, you want to change that zipper to the invisible zipper. To do so, I'm going to use the select slash move tool, click on it to select, then click one on that zipper and come over here to the property editor. Let's expand that a little bit. And we want to scroll down here on the side, we want to change the teeth width to 0.1. Then press on the tab key to confirm. Then change the total of width here to 0.3. And then once again, press on the tab key to confirm. And if we look at the preview here, now the zipper is much smaller. Let's simulate one more time to see the effects. And that looking pretty good. Stop the simulation. Next, we want to change this puller and slider. Simply click on that slider there. And once again, come over here to the property editor. We want to change the stopper to close in. And then the slider, we want to select this one right here. And then scroll it back up. We want to change the puller to this one. And then once again, we want to change this top to small. Also, we want to change this bottom to small as well. Now let simulate again to see the effects. All right, let's stop the simulation. And the zipper looking pretty good, guys. Okay? However, though, it's not perfect yet. We want the zipper to be invisible. And I'm going to do that. So first of all, let and strengthen this. And I'm going to, first of all, guys, okay, if you want to change the color of this fabric, do so before we change the zipper because we want to select the zipper color the same with the skirt. And we don't have to repeat ourselves if we do that. So simply come over here. Let's look at the guideline a little. So right here, we have blue color for the skirt. So why not? Let's change that to blue color, okay? I'm going to minimize this for now. And come to close and click on that same fabric right there. Scroll it down here to the property editor and click on the color chip there to bring this color window. And I'm going to, let's type in the sky under the pantone and then click one of the blue color here or this blue here. And let's say I like it a little bit darker. That's a little bit too bright for me. I want the tone a little bit darker, just like that. Now I'm going to click on apply. All right, next we want to change the zipper color. While that select slash move tool is active, let's click on that zipper right there. And then I'm going to move this panel over here and come to the property editor. And if I look at under the zipper, right here we have material and we have teeth and tape. So we will change the teeth color first. Simply click on that color chip there and then use this eyedropper tool then click one right there on the waistband to pick the color. And then hover the mouse over this color panel and press on escape to get out the eyedropper tool and click on apply. And we'll do the same with the zipper tape. Simply come over here to the property editor, click on the tape now and then click on this color chip and then select this eyedropper tool and click on that skirt there to pick the color from it. Hover the mouse over here on top of that color panel and then press on escape to get out. And now I'm going to click on apply. Next, we want to change the color of the puller and the slider. Simply click on that slider. Then come over here to the property editor once again. This time we only have to do it one though. So let's scroll it up to the color chip, click on it, and then come over here, click on the eyedropper tool, click one on the skirt color to pick the color from it, and then press on the escape key. And then this time we are going to click on apply and close. 
And as you can see right here, now the color is perfect. However, though, we could do a little bit better with these invisible zipper. All right, I will show you some tip on how to do it, okay? So next, I'm going to make key selects all these pattern pieces and come over here. We want to change the thickness rendering to 1.5, okay? Then press on the tab key to confirm. And I'm going to strengthen the pattern first and let's simulate. And then stop the simulation. And let's unstrengthen here. And there you go. Next, we want to turn this panel into one. This is important. We want to merge these waistband as well as the pattern. How do we know which part to merge? Okay, let me show you some tip on how to do it. Use this edit sewing tool. So we want to merge the pattern where we sew them together. For example, this waistband right here, at this point, we want to merge this one to this one. And this one right here to this outside one right there, okay? The same with the skirt right here and right here. All right, so I will use this edit pattern tool and then click one right here and press on shift, click one right there, right click, and I'm going to select merge right here. Next, we want to merge this side here. So simply click one right here and then press on shift and then click one right here, right click, and then merge. Next, let's move this pattern up a little. Simply use it and then bring it up just for now. And next, I will use the edit pattern tool, click one right there, then press on shift, click one right here, right click, and then we want to select merge. And we'll do the same right here, click on one right here, and then click on one right there, right click, and then select merge. And once again, I'm going to move that pattern over just a little. 